now if i go um let me go here and show you let me open this power bi files now i'm going to open this um budget for you to see okay let me open that one um yeah always allow do that okay let me open that one for you to see what is inside that now if you see what we have over here right um you can see how the formatting has been done some numbers over here which are in dollars and stuff like that okay and then we have some um we have the the headings here or right? category subcategory we have january all the way to um december we have grand total over here and i um, mean so on and so forth right i'm going to load this data in power bi okay i'm going to load it in power bi so let me go here and let me load this power bi i mean this data into power bi let me minimize this so um now in order to load the data as i told you you need to go here right if it says so i mean it's just displayed over here so you can click on either of them right or you can just click on this one if you are not seeing it up here okay so for instance this one says so i just click on that select open and that's it as simple as that okay all right so once I do that, you see that it's uh, um, opening over here. Then I just click on that to select. So this is what we have. We can have an overview over here, right? So I'm just going to um, now instead of load it. Okay, now instead of load it, I'm going to see do the second button over here, which is transform data. Okay, which is transform data. Now uh, what we're going to do next here is that we're going to um, try and then clean up the data. Okay, remember in Python, we have done a lot of data cleaning, right? And I mean, it's the same thing over here. If your data is wrong, if your data is wrong, your output are going to be wrong. Okay, so you need to make sure that you have the right data or you have cleaned up your data very well so that Power BI will be able to give you the results that you desire. All right, so that's basically what we're going to do over here. We're going to do data cleaning. All right, so I'm going to do transform data. All right, that is one of the magic things that power bi is having so once i click on transform data now it's going to bring another window over here right another window now power bi is having two main um windows or two main fields let me say or maybe you can just put it in the right way two main engines right we have the editor and then we have the model okay which um, inside the model we have relationships and dax or dax we will talk about that one later but now we're going to deal with the query editor Okay, the query editor. So this one is referred to as query editor. So you can see up here as power query editor. Okay, power query editor. And the query editor, you can think of it as the mechanic of Power BI. Okay, that's where you go and fix all the things that you want. You need to fix. All right, that's where you go and fix all the things that you need to fix. And all the tools that you need are here. Okay, all the tools that you need to do all your mechanical work are here. Right, we have home transform add column view tools help and so on and so forth right so this is what you have over here this is what you have over here um now if you see the table right let's let's start and do some data cleaning in fact let me um i'm going to just delete this one right i'll show you how these things came about but i want us to do from scratch so that you get to know how they came about so click on this change button and then delete you see that there's some cross sign over there click on that to delete it and then you see promoted heads click on that to delete it and then you see that there's some navigation i mean that is okay you can leave that part all right but um make sure you delete those two things that were there that is the changed type and then the promoted headings okay now here you can see that if you examine the data very well you can see that the first three rows right the first three rows is having something called adventure works budget data um, prepared by the person's name adventure works confidential right but you can see there's no data there right but still it has been populated as part of our data set which we don't really need okay we don't need that right you can see even the um the the categories or the titles start from here category subcategory product name right that's how it's supposed to be category subcategory product name something something okay you can see that adventure works here there's no data there but once you load it in power bi since there's no data it's gonna put now 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 over there okay it's just gonna put now right something like that right something like that to fill up all the spaces to where i mean where there's no um data points it's just gonna do that right for all of them like that right for all of them right like that 
it's gonna do it for all of them but i mean ideally we don't we we don't need that okay we don't we don't we don't want to see that one okay it just this is what it is doing okay this is what it's doing so what i'm going to do uh, right now is that we're going to get rid of that okay we're going to get rid of that now it's very much easier to even do that if you see as i said here you can think of this ribbon as the mechanical tools that you need in order to work on your data in power bi now i'm in home tab okay i'm in home tab so home tab i'm going to remove rows okay click on that now once you click on that you see that remove top rows remove bottom rows remove alternate rows remove duplicates remove blank rows remove errors what we're going to use right now right um some of them we will use them later but right now what we're going to use is remove top rows because what we want to remove is actually on the top rows okay so that's basically what we're going to do so go to remove top rows and then it will ask you how many top rows do you want to remove okay the number of rows that you want to remove so it's saying specify how many rows to remove from the top so in this case we have three um i mean three things over there that we want to remove as you can see okay we have three rows that we want to remove row one row two and row three so as soon as we click on okay the magic happens and it's gone okay just like that it's gone and here you can see that whatever action that you have applied or step that you have applied is going to be recorded over here so we see that it's here is there same saying that you have removed top rows if you don't want you can click on this gear icon right and then you can reverse it you can cancel it if you don't want it okay or you can just click on it and see what you want and even if you want to in increase it you can increase it or reduce it uh, as you want okay all right okay so that's that's what i mean um how you remove it and then now you can see that we still have this thing over there you can see that the column names very very disgusting over here right a b c one two three column one a b c one two three column two so on and so forth that's not what we want that's not what we want what we want is this one these ones are supposed to be the title the column titles category subcategory product name product key that is the title that we have okay so what we're going to do right now is that we're going to get rid of this one right the heading right and i mean it would it would have been very useful if there was a button that you just click and the that pattern i mean that row is gone and then this one just becomes the title i mean that would be magic right in fact that magic exists in power bi that magic exists if you go here you see that use first row as headers awesome awesome it actually makes your work very much easier okay use first row as headers or use headers as first row you can do it either way around so right now what we're going to do is use first row as headers Right. And once I do that, boom, it's there. Right. You see that it has 10. Right. It has 10. If I do, if you can undo, right, you can undo if you want. If I click on this one, you see that it's gone. Right. Now, instead of um, those categories, subcategory being the heading, now it has 10 back. OK, so I can just go back and redo it for you to see how it is. OK, now you see that it has 10 to these ones have been 10. Right. If you don't want, you can go and select the second one right and then we see that it has come back okay so uh, it's very easier magic happens just like that okay boom and it's there okay so that's that's i mean how you do it and whatever that i'm doing is recorded right first i change it i on I, I i undo it i come and then i did it again you see once i undo it is going to re be recorded as demoted headers okay first i i did the headers so it's called promoted headers then i change it again then it's called change type when I did it, or when I undo again, it's recorded as demoted headers. I did it again, change type one, because change type is there. Then I did it again, promoted header. I change it again now, see. The, every step that you're going to do is going to be recorded over here. So later on, you can just come back. If you don't want to, you can reverse the decision that you did earlier on. And even in years time, you might forget how you went through step by step to prepare your data to some extent, okay? Or even if someone else um come back and then pick and then the person want to know how you did it you prepare your data it be, it will be difficult for you to tell the person that i did this before that and that and that but power bi will keep records of all the steps that you're doing which will make it awesome very easy for you to even reverse your decisions or even know what step to take even if next time you want to do it again okay so as simple as that as simple as that all right now 
Um, you can also see that there are some, um, I mean, in Python, we could have said that we are looking for missing values. Then we use, we use maybe SNA and then we try to find if there are missing values there and then remove those missing values. The same thing we can do in Power BI. And if it's even fun here, we don't need to write any code, right? I mean, it's just fun, right? Whatever function that it is using, it's also displaying up here for you to see. Okay, it's displaying up here, which you don't need to bother yourself about it. Okay, now we're going to now remove these things. Okay, you can see that there are some data points that are not available. Okay, but they are still here in our um, data. Okay, so we're going to find a way to get rid of them as well. All right, so now um, in order to do that, now you see that over here, right? Over here um, at the category, you see that if we have a filter, um, icon over here right or a filter button over here if you click on that you see that there are quite a lot of things that you can do you can sort it by ascending order or descending order right i'm sure if you're using you have, if you have used a cell before these things are supposed to be common to you ascending order means um from this one's an alphabet okay so for our alphabet it just start with, from a to z right but this you can even see it over there right from a to z but descending order will start from z to a that is um, if you have something like say A, you have if you have a word that starts with A, it will come first. If you're doing sort um, in ascending order, okay. If you have a word that starts with A, that will come first. If you have a word that starts with say G, that will come. I mean, after a word that comes after a letter that comes before that, okay. So in a form of alphabetical order, right? And then you can also reverse it, right? Now what we're going to use over here is to click on this test filters okay you can also see the remove empty so if there are empty spaces over here right that are having no records you can just easily click on that and then click on remove empty to remove it okay and then here what we're going to um, do is test files if you click on that you see that we have um, several fields here what we're going to click is or test file does not contain okay does not contain so you can click on that I mean there are several things test file equals or test file does not equal or test file begins with test file does not begin with or ends with does not end with contains does not contain okay so what we're going to um select right now is test file does not contain right and once you click on that you see that um this window will pop up okay and then here you're going to type if you if you let me push this one back here right now if you see those ones that are having now right we have subtotal right accessories which is now over here we have subtotal bikes which is now right and so on all the ones that are having subtotal in there are having those now now over there you can also observe them over here okay those subtotals subtotals okay they will be having some nows in there okay because there there were no data points for instance in this product name column there were no data points in there so it's just gonna be um, now now if you load them okay so that's basically what we want to um, deal with right so does not contain and then I'm just gonna type here total okay because we have subtotal we have um, I mean other terms over there but all of them contains total okay so make sure that this word is actually starting because here it starts with capital right subtotal here start with capital you make sure that the word what you're typing here is also in caps okay if you type in small letters it's not gonna be able to identify it because it's case sensitive all right so make sure the name is just the same thing you can type the entire subtotal or just um some part of it and it's still going to figure them out okay now once i do that you see that boom they are all gone okay you see that it's gone right we don't have those now values anymore right we don't have um those now values anymore and you can see over here that the the I mean whatever step that I did is here. Okay, you can just um click on this one and then you see the step that you have done so far. Okay, you can click on that and you can um see it back. All right, so that's basically um what you can do. If you don't want any column, I mean some of the columns you can also click and delete. Okay, for instance um we have this grand total. Okay. We're going to see how we can even do this grand total later on. So let's say I don't um, like this grand total. So what I can do over here is that I can even right click, right? And then I can do remove. Okay, if I click on remove, it's gone. Okay, grand total is now gone, right? And the step has been recorded over here, removed columns, okay? 
it's gone you could have also click on remove column from this ribbon button over here okay you could, you could have also um, done that and you can see the i mean what it's the formula that is used to remove it okay it's there so you don't need to write this one if you know how to write these things you can also be writing it here to do it okay table dot remove columns inside that you put hash blah 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 you don't need to think about this one it's not necessary all you have to do is how to visually do these things okay all right so that's that's i mean some of the things that we have done so far